what's important for us to identify you as a chest player, whether you're strong or you're weak. But we know that you can begin to make a form decision because you become a So if you're here and know you're not coming at this trial, come on board, make this form decision that we are here. So that we can get the data and make decisions. So I also want to especially recognize I am Bodeo IPOJ. This is he he the top in February when Sipan had their flag of a meeting about how to achieve Nigerian self governance. Himself have been in the top, you know, many of them are very experienced and you know what is decent and details at that level. So I think I'm so glad that person to have you know dealt on that topic. So we get a lot of you know, very brilliant solutions. And one of it is how to strengthen relationship with the NCM. Okay? And that has also been a view that I've keyed into. You know, I know that with a strengthened institution, players will not be having issues, you know, to grow professionally or even as a club member. So having said that, we're going to allow the we are going to give way for the NCM president. There are a lot of burning issues, a lot of burning questions, players will we want to know what is happening, how do we get information, you know, how do we stay, how do we do our chess, are there tournaments to play? We had that national championship, who is invited, what is the selection criteria, a lot of questions. So the president, you know, is going to talk about this few stuff. Okay. Now bear in mind that this meeting is not to solve any problem. For all that it was, it is to give you an idea and information of what the Nigerian chess community is, and the little issues that the community is facing. But this meeting is not exhaustive, okay? That a bigger interactive program that we plan by the NCF and the leadership of NCF to discuss all of these issues through representations or by individuals. So when that information is out, I believe everybody will get it and will clean. So that is that. My, my work here is to sell SIPA to you at the first instance, and I believe that every one of you will see the need to, to come into to obtain the vision and let us unify as players. Once we unify as players, we will make the work of preparation a bit easy because there will be easy information dissemination. And that is what is good for us. And that will also be a framework to select the very best out of the pool of chess players in Nigeria. So that is our clamor. That is our fight. That is the direction that we're going. So these are gentlemen. I want you to put them together with the NCO president to say a few words for us. Good afternoon, everyone. Chess players, coaches, organizers, arbiters, all stakeholders that are here present. I greet you all. It is a moderate delight to see, to be in the gathering of the all of us like this. Um, I think it's the first time of having an opportunity as president. I became president of Alan Saki, and the late festival was then, not two years ago. Even then, I was away, I wasn't around, I just came in very quickly. So I didn't uh, have enough time to interact with chess players like I'm doing here right now. And um, it's, a, it's a great delight, and it brings back uh, four memories. Um, I welcome all of you again. National Festival, to be attending today in Poland. I want to congratulate those that have won, and those that will still win, and those that will not win. I, I challenge you, encourage you to, to, to do well next time. Um, about three days ago, the Super President called me and said that we had a meeting to have a party. I was welcome here. I found you and I want to come back again so that uh, I can, uh, can attend to you. Um, he said the, the, the purpose of this meeting is to set the country. I also encourage you of you to be a member of the party. Please join the party. So we can, we have recognized the party as the umbrella for your player, the Nigerian chess player. So if you do not want, we will not uh, be able to relate with you um, sufficiently. So I encourage all of you to at least dignify, like you said, if they are not talking about money now, just join the queue form, membership form, let them know, let them let us have, let us begin to gather statistics, let us gather data. Let us know how many of us are available. How many chess players? If they ask us how many chess players, they will know. 
complete. I am very happy that he said, join Superman. So we will be able to relate with you. If I want to know just that I have a job, slap my fingers. There are many members we have. And we have an idea, an appropriate idea of the number of chess players that we have seen. And those information are actually right now to develop. Without data, without statistics, we cannot really develop. So we need those things. So please, um, join Superman and then be active there. So we, we, we can also help each other to develop things like this. Uh, like he said in his uh, uh, remarks, there are, there, there are very many funny issues, there are very many clarifications that you want to hear. But uh, I spoke with him earlier today again that this problem might not be very appropriate. Considering uh, time, considering the fact that you are playing a tournament to, to discuss a lot of things that are, that are pending. And before now, the session planning that is supposed to go to two or three or four players. We are applying a bigger, a bigger interactive session with all stakeholders in Nigeria. And we believe that we um, were supposed to hold March 28th, we wanted to hold before the festival, so we can now have a physical interaction that we are discussing. And but, uh, we couldn't get some people ready for two, for two groups. But now we, we are going to make sure we have this even before the end of this month. So at that forum, people who, who, who want to hear, who want people to talk. Who should say what we think NCF will look like? I mean, the kind of NCF they want, the kind of chess they want, the kind of um, development they want to see. Because uh, we don't know it all. We, we all have a short commitment. We have a short commitment. Everybody has, I mean, all stakeholders. Um, we have not been completed. We all know that. I, I don't need to say that. And like I said, at one or two meetings that were organized by SOSC. Point, I said, what as an administration, this administration, what we lack is cooperation from the chamber. Not to worry, if you have the, the right cooperation, we, we, we will have done far more than what we are doing. And I want to appeal to you again from now on, so please, I, I plead with everyone, let us give our differences, I plead with us to give, let us be ordered. Let us be progressive, my let us let us let us drop let us drop the targets, let us drop uh, whatever it is. We are going to resolve all these things. We have have started the move to make sure we resolve a lot of matters. But let us be let, let us be objective in our approach to issues. Mm -hmm. If we cooperate and be objective, moving forward, I believe chess will grow faster in Nigeria. So that is my challenge to you. I want to really believe with you. I am the first thing I have a short commit. See beyond me. I'm not, uh, I'm not, I'm not an individual, I'm not your institution. Please see beyond me. Uh, let us together build this presentation, this chess game that we claim to all love. Let us together build it to a very beautiful height. And um, we all know what to do. And please, like I said, I'm please again, I'm pleading. By the time we have a interactive session, uh, maybe earlier in the first of this month, that will give, it will last hours, it will last the whole day. That will give everybody the opportunity to say whatever you want to say, drop whatever suggestions, whatever ideas, whatever clarification you need to hear. So that time when you hear something, you don't hear the other, you, you can tell if you want to be misled, be misguided. So everybody will be properly guided. And that will lead us to having a, 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 a formal document for the presentation, like the like, like handbook, like the charter. I'm going to have that. That, that, that. that will be the beginning of that process. I'm going to have that so everybody, the role, responsibility, and function of everybody will be clearly defined. So when the vision is very clear on the table, everybody will be able to run. We're going to run with it, and there will not be, there will not be as many issues as we have now. So, ladies and gentlemen, I, I want to stop here. Like I said, let us just look forward to we'll, we'll submit information very very, very sufficiently. Let us look forward to that at the session and uh, make sure that we contribute progressively, positively, so that we can together lift our sports to a new level. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, sir. That's the Alekma and David, the President. Uh, like you said, the, we, are, we are looking forward to a very good and uh, Aggressive situations moving forward. So, I want to say this is uh, the 
very transparent in charge. You go to this Congress there, you get a lot of opinions and issue a communique just as you know. But there are a lot of big certain persons who have, say, a team of two that will serve as feedback. But before now, some stakeholders are asking me. And uh, when I went through the document, they were they are exactly what the concerns are. So it's inconsistent. People are quite aware and they see the same issue. So it's a very documented, and I hear that community will be out very soon and it will be made public so everybody will know. But in order not to repeat, uh, repeat the same scenario, the same act, I will have three persons maybe to ask questions just to make this very formal. I also gave two persons chance to speak. All of them will be Ayurveda and uh, maybe for the other name of the so, uh, we'll have very controlled time. So, if I only will speak for maybe 10 to 5 minutes, um, what do we take? Then we'll take three questions or contributions before we because some of us are very hungry and we don't want to pay a So, thank you. So, let me have an uh, IOU now to the My name is Ibuna Uriba, I'm a chef there. And I want to share my story um, about being a chef there to encourage us to key into the vision of the current key crime president, um, Martin. Um, he has shared with me his vision to unite, um, to have a united house for all chess players in Nigeria. And that is why I have risen up to identify myself and share my story as um, a fellow chess player. I started playing chess in secondary school. I then began my chess in federal government college of physics. And right there, my ambition was to become the world chess champion. Um, of course, little did I know uh, what that ambition entailed until I came out of secondary school, played my first um, NBL tournament, I played in the open, got battered, and then I had to do a rethink or um, strategize about what ambition I had for myself as a chess player. Long story short, along the line, um, I got grades, I studied and became an arbiter, and um, the story has progressed from there. My appeal to all of us today is, as with my journey, I started as a chess player, like I said. Um, we cannot make any meaningful progress, except we are united, except we come together and have a united front. Um, the current administration, the current CFAN administration has deemed it fit to have this platform to as um, a starting as a building block to that um, that journey, that place we all want to be. I'm sure as chess players we've been agreed by decisions of arbiters, decisions of the federation, um, a lot of the, a lot of pending issues, but these issues will persist. Um, except change happens. And change can only happen when we individually um, decide to be part of the change. Every single one of us seated here as chess players, it is, we have the power to change the current narrative of things not working as we want them to work. And my appeal to us is to join forces with CIPAN, join forces with the Federation, the NPS, and come on board and contribute our individual process. We all have a voice that we can contribute. But the problem will remain if we all sit back in our homes, in our respective homes, expecting one um, God 
from heaven to resolve all our issues. The issues will remain until we play very active roles in changing the current narrative. So um, when the secret president said he would give me a platform to speak, I said, what can I speak on? And what I Um, yes, sir, President. Good morning, Mr. President. Uh, yes, yes. And um, officials, players, friends, family, everybody. I greet you all. My name is Ojoy Aikoje. Um, a lot of people don't know that I am Ojo. It's a nickname I've been using for many years, Ojo. Uh, ironically, yes, sir, President, you are one of the people that. Um, was instrumental in me having that baby. He was calling me Rudolski for many, many years. There was kind of like this joke way back that the first chess players in the world were Russians, and all of them, their names are either ended with Rob or Ski. So if your name was not Kasparov or something Ski, then you are not a good chess player. So initially, from my name, Odion, I was promoted to Rob, Udi Rob, and then they added the Ski on top. <laughs> so I was a double, uh, do, do, double uh, guru, so to speak. Lots of other people are not now. I think they don't stop at They take either ski or rock, but uh, or oh, sorry, oh, you know, so they, but I'm not really sure. A lot of people do that. Chess in Nigeria, um, it's come a long way. It's come a long way, but I still feel we have a lot um, much further to go. I don't think we can sit on our laurels and say that because we have now been able to get some kind of international recognition, we able to push chess up to a particular stage at the national level, we can sit back and say, yes, we've arrived. No, chess is still an emerging game in Nigeria. It's a distinction between what we call a game and a sport. Um, my brief comments here today, I think I will just speak from the perspective of um, a professional. When I say professional, I'm talking about a professional as in a sports management professional. By well, by um, training, I have uh, a postgraduate degree in sports management with the business of football also. But the sports management degree afforded me the opportunity to look at the real core business of sports. A lot of people, from the player's perspective, only think about let me just go and participate, let me go and play, give me the tools, whatever it is uh, football, um, the hockey equipment the tennis equipment, the chess board, they just want to play, but there has to be something behind it providing that particular facility, providing the arena, providing the competition, that it has to be sustainable. And that's the business. If you don't have a business case, then it is impossible for you to sustain your game. It cannot be run solely as a passion. That's just the plain truth, because it is being operated on a global scale. That's why PD has really felt professionalized in recent times signing all sorts of agreements uh, with multinational companies to put more money into chess. Now you have the World Championship, there's lots of money in it for the men, for the women, and also trying to find a way to sell the game. Because your your sport, no matter how passionate you are about it, if you, if you cannot sell it to those who are going to either watch and contribute as participants, or those who are going to sponsor and take um, advantage of advertising opportunities, then there's nothing. The next World Championship is going to be held at the Dubai Expo. The Dubai Expo is a huge event, people from all around the world. So you can imagine what it will mean for the World Championship of Chess to be held in that particular Expo. Let me tell you, um, those kind of Expos, the Dubai Expo and other um, kinds of exhibitions that they have in places like Dubai, the US, in, in, um, across Europe, they mostly showcase technological innovation. I don't know if people have seen this thing about uh, some robots walking behind somebody at one of these expos. Yeah. It was, it was, uh, well, it was, there was a bit of extra jar on it. It wasn't as fantastic as it was printed to be. But the fact remains there is all sorts of new technology coming up now. Technology that people can use um, to enhance their body. Uh, microchips. Exoskeletons, cars that fly, skis that hover and take you across the ground. These are technological innovation. And chess has a very key role to play in maintaining the pace of technological innovation because 
whether we like it or not, chess is seen as the last barrier between human beings and computers. Yes, computers are they are equivalent to the top chess players, they are even better. But chess is a single activity, the single brain activity that we can still compete with computers with. Everything else, we are behind. We are effectively obsolete. But in terms of chess, we still have a state, and that is why there is an underground emphasis on the game of chess. People that play chess, we are seen as the competition in terms of logical thinking, problem solving. If you play chess, you are seen as a super rational, super logical person, and that is what we need in the future. Because the future is going to be really controlled by systems, computers that don't put sentiments into what they do. A computer takes a decision, and that decision is what is going to be used to create an environment that will affect the livelihoods of every single one of us. And if you are in a position to compete with that computer, then you are definitely going to be called upon. Chess players are meant to be logical and repeating it. Without logic, then there is no point in you being part of the chess community. I'm sorry to say that. It doesn't mean that your logic has to be incredible, but you must have a basic rationality to your thinking. And that is what the game of chess should be able to sell. I talk about business opportunities. We should be able to sell this to the wider populace. That by being a part of the chess community, by engaging in chess, your thinking ability is going to be enhanced. This is what we can sell to governments. This is what we can sell to parents. This is what we can sell to people who want to promote the game of chess. And once we can promote the game of chess, then we can get advertisers involved, sponsors involved, different people involved. And it all starts with the structure. Uh, Martin has spoken about it. I gave a short talk on how to get a Nigerian GM a possibility, maybe, a dream. At the end of the day, the core, uh, the, the core point for that whole presentation was coordination is key. There has to be a central coordinating point. And in Nigeria, it has to be the Nigerian Chess Federation. That has to be the central coordinating point. The NCF might not necessarily be the one to do everything, but it has to be the central point from where everybody else will be able to radiate take whatever opportunities they want in coaching, in training, in playing, in arbitration, whatever it is you are doing. The NCF is the central point. And there has to be a player organization also. I speak to you here also as the current well, chairman of a committee or a commission at the African Chess uh, Confederation level. I'm supposed to be the chairman of the Players Commission. What that means is that ideally I should be responsible for activities or whatever it is that players across Africa, um, any issues they have. I'm also a member of the FIDE Athletes Commission. That's at the world level. That means also the committee I'm involved in is supposed to entertain any questions or grievances, issues that players have. This is a gathering primarily of players. I would like us to be able to use mediums like this. In Nigeria, the equivalent of these two organizations I've mentioned is the Chess Players Association. The Chess Players Association of Nigeria. We need to find a way to work with CIFA. I'm glad that Martin has said it is being retooled, it's being uh, revisioned, such that the CIFA can become what we want it to be. The tool that will be a pressure group to make sure that any policy that is formulated is beneficial to players. And if it's beneficial to players, it will be beneficial to the administration. It's vice versa. That's the way it is. I don't think um, I'm going to speak much more about this. I said, as a sports management professional, the case of the business, the business case, has to be emphasized. Maybe what I'll do is I'll prepare a presentation, I'll hand it over to the CIFAR president, so that we can understand the chain, the chain in the business of sports. All of us, whether we like it or not, we must be part of that sports business. That is what sustains this activity, this kind of activity. So, um, I think I'll Thank you very much. Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon, sir. I'm standing on the existing protocol. I remain Chief Superintendent of Corrections. I want to thank you. Presently, the Commander uh, River State Camp Squad. Um, my suggestions for improvement goes this way. We have hit on some issues on chase development in Nigeria. But this cannot be extensively achieved 
if we do not reach out decentralization of chess from Lagos State, for instance. There should be a plan of a competition running, say, five to six times in a year, whereby it should rotate either in the six geopolitical zones of the nation or in the four cardinal arms of the nation. What I mean is this, north, east, west, south, in that way. And not everything tied only in Lagos. Because many persons do not know what chess is all about. It will sound very funny. When you get your chess, they will ask you, is it, is it draft? You tell them, you know, you go draft. They will laugh over it. And that's what you use to attract them. That's point number one, because of the time. Then the second point, for you to gain sponsorship, about this, you must reach out to the uniform agencies, for one, because they have budgetary allocation in sports promotion. They do not know what, most, not everybody, is only presently now, you have the police and the head of all security, you have the corrections, you have the army, you have the name. Now we have the civil defense, the last security agencies game that was conducted in Abuja recently. There are some of these agencies that don't know what chess is all about. They only sponsor football. But if Sipan in or NCF in conjunction with Sipan can come there and you say it's the custom of chess, tell them that chess is not all about pushing the pieces and catching form. That this is about strategy on how you can conquer the society and put things on chain. That chess is about decision making. If you, as an administrator, any decision you make can either prosper the organization or hamper the organization. When you come in in that level and they see the results there, eh, they will now give you please. We want to manage all our. You don't understand what I'm saying. Every unit or sectors of that establishment. That's one another point. Then the next point, you see, the, in the chess league we are carrying out, I want a situation whereby when you talk about the sponsorship, the power of the cash money should be raised as heavy as if possible, two million men, one million men, and not maybe you say you are putting a cash of. 200,000, 100,000. A lot of people are clamoring for it. I don't know whether you understand where I'm going. When you do that, and you now decentralize it and come this other way, the awareness will be there. People will ask, ah, what does that mean that they are putting 1 million naira, 2 million naira on? And not in hundreds of thousands. And that chess league should be conducted in such a way that if you have both uh, their categories specified. But why don't you attract it in the secondary schools whereby you do talent content? I don't know whether you understand what I'm saying. Then, in every case, you put God first. Like the Apollo government, the sky, the slogan, only God. You put him first in every situation. Praise the Lord. Good afternoon, everybody. My name is Chukwe I'm not as popular as you said before, those who are not popular. I've been to make an appeal, then I'm also I'll ask a question. I'll start with the question. First of all, uh, we had a, a program, or let me say, we had a kind of structure, perhaps test administrators all over the political zone, from the political zone that in Nigeria. And uh, for some reasons, Seems that the structure didn't hold. Either that the idea was poorly conceived, or the people that were supposed to maintain the, the structure backed up from the system. And then, if we are going to have such a structure, please let it be defined what uh, the criteria are to be, or is it going to be open, or is it going to be by nomination? Because anybody can just come up and say, I want to represent the political zone, or I want to be a member of this. Is that going to be a sort of communication or is it going to be by communication or 
I don't know. I don't know the structure you're going to use. Then the appeal I'm going to make is this. Please, nobody is going to celebrate you if you don't celebrate yourself first. There's something you have in our chess community and it is very, very bad. We don't celebrate ourselves. We beef ourselves too much. I'm saying this because I've had friends that just just look so serious, but it's, it's very, very difficult. It's a very difficult thing. For someone to travel out of these shores to make Nigeria proud, I, I think the person needs to be celebrated. I've had two, three friends that really traveled as far. I have a really major opportunity. I have a view. I want amateur uh, uh, chess in Dubai. I mean, the first ever that was had, the World Tournament, nobody heard about it, nobody publicized it. Nobody could even present it to the, to the uh, uh, national body of chess. You see, one of us traveled on his own and represented Nigeria. Come on. Then the next person um, I had recently, Nosopoli. I get him. He traveled out. He met the Yibos and he, he showed them how to play the game. Come on, even back with the with the with the trophy. I mean, you are supposed to celebrate, you are supposed to publicize it. Even make your magazine. All these kind of people. When you see people celebrating like this, other people will be envious of chess. I mean, we should think about this thing. And the last one I want to cry out is the last incident of one of us. I mean, a veteran. As big as Nigeria is, we call ourselves as the giant of Nigeria. And one of us, a veteran that traveled to also represent Nigeria, goes stranded. You all know the news. He traveled on the platform. And I mean, it was embarrassing. Even uh, Niger Short had to come in to approve. We are more than this. Please, I would like to appeal to our administrators, to our leaders. I mean, a structure way by people that put in their face to see that things like chess are being celebrated. So you should also celebrate them. And the last one is a uh, uh, is thing. I mean, he put up on chess, went to Scrabble, and recently he, he met the circular that he has dropped up on sports like this. I don't know. If you read if you read through that it, it, it's heartbreaking. It doesn't give the rest of all that want to come up the future to still future to the the games for his for instance. Like me, like the, the chief editor said, when he was going up he had he had a kind of uh, passion or uh, a kind of power he set for himself to be in the chess community. But at the end of the day, no, he didn't do, do too badly because he's an international arbiter. But let me, let me, me, I had that, that kind of passion, but the structure couldn't help me. I traveled around, sponsoring myself to go for tournaments. But at the end of the day, you see that you, you, look, you look as if your efforts are being watered to nothing. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, once again, good afternoon. When I was speaking, um, I'm sure most of you are aware that we have a new Secretary General in And it is also good that you know the Secretary General is in charge of the day to day running of the affairs of chess, of the FPL. But when I was speaking, it was not around. So when uh, somebody was speaking, he quietly walked in. So please give me the honor and privilege to introduce to you our new Secretary General, Mr. Dakwakele. I'm right to say that the tallest man in this uh, head and shoulder bone. I don't wish uh, he would translate that to help chess grow as tall as he is. Thank you very much. Good afternoon, My name is Paul from the River Chess Association. Uh, my own appeal, my own appeal is to the NCS, the Nigeria Chess Association. And that is uh, the area of uh, the sense if you're not informed of the form. And uh, one of the key areas that we test players need to be informed worldwide is uh, the area of uh, the website. Um, time over time I've gone to the website and the website is not popular. Which uh, for me is not uh, a good light to the church. Um, I go to school to teach uh, uh, kids on church, and the first thing they sometimes they just want to key to the church website, I mean the, the SEO website, and it's not optional. Um, there was a time I was, um, I was needed an information, I needed to uh, get some information from the website. Uh, it's not optional because I needed to write to. Um, Consign arbitration because I wanted to 
one or two persons were interested in becoming an arbiter for my state. And I wrote, I wrote through the website, there was no feedback. I had to write to FIDE. It was FIDE that feedback me and said I should go straight to uh, the National, uh, uh, National Arbitration Authority so that they can give me feedback. So in such cases, I believe uh, we can do better in working on the website. So if we need information, sometimes if I want to get information, I go to chess, uh, chessdrop.net for me to get information concerning how to have um, uh, chess registration. So for me, I think we we'll do better. It's not something, uh, it's not rocket science. We can work on it even within a couple of hours and make our website start working. So we can get information at the start of our finger, we can query and get other things that has to do with chess. All of these things we are talking about we can be on the website. For example, now we have um, this is a national tournament, a national competition, and it, I believe that there will be any information. If you're out of this country, you want to get information about the sports festival, it's easy for you to just go to the website, but it's not available. So please, by appealing to the SCF, just go on the website so we can get information and stuff about you. Thank you. Members of the board, our honorable national secretary. Those people who have been there for a very long time. Actually, my own is not really observation. I want to also inform one, the first speaker who spoke here, he has said a lot of good things that I love. And I just want to do one of the paper and give my information. One, uh, he, he spoke on the decentralization of chairs from Lagos to other zones. In fact, that was uh, an issue that was in mind when the federation was constituted. The federation was constituted, not members from Lagos. The federation is constituted by people from Donald Waters. And now let me be fast with this. One, the decentralization of chess is not a problem to us because my speaker actually gave us a lot of, a lot of things that what had done my project. I just want to let you know about this. Those of them in Lagos, I think some sponsors, when they want to sponsor tournaments, they don't like this tournament to be carried outside the environment. That is just the information I want to give. They don't like it. Now, most of the tournaments that is except nas national, and if it is national tournament that was sponsored maybe by government, then we're talking about carrying it from zone to zone, or state to state. That is the number one. Then, the other side of it, I'm also standing here to beg our able players. If you look around, we have so many good players today. Not only good players, but players that have several like years. Like Mr. John said here, there are really a bunch of good players. You are not just a player, you are also a thinker. Like in my state, and where I school before, uh, in uniforms. So we tell you, if you want to come to begging for maybe a uh, cut of point, maybe you have to do, you want to beg for uh, admission. The director of Professor Sefai will tell you that, please, I can give it to any other sport and not for chess. That is what you normally say. So, what I'm saying in essence is that we can be the preachers of chess development in our various states. Like I know. Uh, a five ball, or I think crossing or so, you said, uh, German parameter. They were planning to organize the tournament. But suddenly, the, our representative there, I can mean, the chairman there died. So we couldn't do it. But let us also consider the situation in the country. It's affecting chess. But nevertheless, I'm also appealing that any individual is not necessarily the federation. The federation is just there as a guy. It's not necessarily. So if you know anybody that can sponsor chess, I think uh, in our board, sir, 
we agree that whoever can bring such a person has a benefit. He has a benefit. So I'm just trying to remind you, sir. Let us go by that. Thank you very much. Good afternoon, everybody. What I want to say to the very very community, in my opinion, what you tell me is shopping. Why? Right for round two or round three, even at what time, as witness deals with it. This is not how change is supposed to be. If nobody is safe, but that's safe. As witness deals with me consistently, I was asked to bring money. Now, let that's a problem we don't have to make sure that we are using. Now, I suggest that for the next tournament, we need to set up a committee that will build out the format that will kill all the deals yes. from the session. So, start with this. It is just the rigorous that a state will play their weak player, and the weak player, the so called weak player, is never going to get those weak. Because they are all one day. He now can jump 100%. Which one would be the way? Everybody just keeps dealing, dealing, dealing. My suggestion is as a starting point, the talk has been told, to play the next festival if possible with categories who have the master's category and the men's category. If you are a master, you play the master. If you are a master, you are a master. If you are a master, you are a master. If you are a master, you are a master. I can bet you, I'm not going to be out of but I can bet you that you know this thing is all things to get the shot. But yo, you played there, there was nothing. I'm not saying anything else. But under one of the categories, the man who played the tournament, another category that's been to do. What's the thing? Who will say the same thing? Delta, the same thing. Sorry, I'm chair of the Delta State. But I know my team was there. It's ridiculous. We need to find the format that will kill those days. I suggest we play two categories. The men who play masters and open. So there are players for those two. For the ladies, they are not great ladies and players. But I still suggest in that same level category, put the form of master here and Cassandra. Correct, sir. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. I shall give it to the Chris to work in this one piece and it's very beautiful. So, although that is not the cross of the discussion for now, but it's something I definitely need to be looked into because it is beyond embarrassing that a game that's supposed to be intellectually, you know, based is being compromised because of economic gains. I pray that as chess players, we understand the importance of these things. But it is beyond the money that you get. It is a thing of integrity, it is a thing of morality, and it is a thing that depends on, depends on the progress of this country. If you as a chess player that is supposed to bring strategy and, and plans to make whatever environment you are in a better place can be so low because of economic gains from your states, then it's a debate. I'm not doing, I'm also a victim of that, you know, sometime in the past by way of the system from our coach, but I found that it is. But then, it is what it is. The fight is for us to change the narrative and to have a new direction, a new direction. So, SIPA today is something that I want us to see as our property, you know, that is laced with integrity as a person. One thing I like Adam, Adam, uh, I am holding on for, he believes what he believes, and he thinks it's right, and you will stand to the end of it. Because he's, he's convinced that this cannot be wrong, you know, until he knows better, he's not ready to change that narrative. Same for us. So every day we learn, every day we get new information, and we update whatever information that we have, and it becomes our new knowledge. So until you get to that level, that you can stand for your word beyond financial gains, you can never get your best position. So ladies and gentlemen, there are a lot of people I want to introduce and thank, and thank, but Everybody's equally important. Thank you very much for the honor to be here. And I look forward to us working together as a unit. Thank you. Thank you.